learners, welcome to my online class. I am Teacher Peace and I will be your teacher for today. In today's lesson, you're gonna learn three important concepts. Number one, you have to learn how basic number system works. Number two, you have to learn how to identify the place value and a value of a number. And number three, you have to learn how to write a number in an expanded form. So are you ready? If yes, then let's go. Giving the place value and value of a digit in numbers up to 100,000. The number system that we use in math is called base 10 system because it uses 10 different symbols for counting. Again, how many symbols? Correct, it's 10 symbols. are called digits and it looks like this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 at first glance you might think that it's only a nine digits but remember zero counts as one of the digits also to see how number system use this 10 digits to represent amounts let us read the problem Ian and his friends enjoy watching their favorite basketball game at Moa Arena. They want to know how many people the sports ground could accommodate. So, when the announcer announces that there were 12,543 persons watched the game, they were really surprised. So for today's lesson, we're going to use a something called number place to count numbers. As we count, we change the digit in a number place to match how many people the MOA arena could accommodate. For example, if we start at no person at all, we put the digit 0 in a number place because 0 means nothing. But then, as the people start to enter the sports ground, we begin to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, we've got a 9 persons already. But, we've got also a problem. Teacher, teacher, why? Because we've already run out of digits to count with. The highest digit we only have is 9. But, there's a lot of persons we need to count. So what will we do now? The solution is to use groups to help us to count. For example, let us pretend that each person is equivalent to 10 persons. Then, so let us combine these 10 persons to create a new group. So how many persons will already count? Again? Yes, correct. It's 10. But, how many group of pens do we have? Again? Correct. We only have one group. Instead of counting the person one at a time, like we did in the first number place, we're going to count person 10 at a time. In other words, we use it to keep track on how many groups of 10 we could count. For example, if we only count one group of 10, then we put the digit 1 at a number place. If we count two groups of 10, then we put the digit 2 at a number place. And if we count three groups of 10, then we put the digit 3 at a number place and so. Do you see what's happening? Correct! The new number place is being used to count groups of 10. Since this new number place is for counting groups of 10, we're going to name it the tens place, while the name of original place is the ones place because we use it in counting one at a time. Using these two number places together, let us represent amounts in between the groups of tens. For example, if we are able to count 30 persons, we will write 3 in the tens place to represent 3 groups of tens and 0 in the ones place to represent zero person but if we count 32 persons we will write three in the tens place to represent three groups of tens 
and two in the ones place to represent the two persons that were not in the groups of tens. In fact, using only our ten digits and its two number places, we can count all the way from zero up to 99. As you can see, the number 99, both number places are maxed out with the highest digits. And we cannot count any higher unless we create another number place. If we already count 99 persons and added one more, we now have exactly 100 persons. And if we make a group from these 100 persons, we can use it a new number place to count. How many groups of 100 can we count? That means that we could reuse the same 10 digits again in this new number place. We could now count how many groups of 100 persons attended. And guess what? It is called a hundreds place because we use it to count groups of 100. And now, are you starting to see how the base 10 number system works? It uses different number places to represent different sizes of groups that we use to count. The digits in one place tells us how many ones we have. The digit in tens place tells us how many group of tens we have. And the digit in the hundred place tells us how many groups of one hundreds we have. And have you noticed, each time we get a new number place to count larger groups, we place it to the left of the previous number place. That's important because all number places are always arranged in exact same order. Starting in the ones place, as you move to the left, the number represents bigger volume. And you also notice each number place represents groups that are exactly 10 times bigger than the previous number place. 10 is 10 times bigger than 1. 100 is 10 times bigger than 10. To see that the next number place could be 10 times bigger than 100, which is 1000, that's why it's called the thousands place. Number place we could count 10 times bigger than the previous place, and it's the 10 thousands place. Number places is keep on going like that. Next is the hundred thousands place, millions place, and millions place. For example, in Philippines, we use comma for every three places to make it easier to identify things like thousand space or million space. Seeing all this number together, I hope you understand what we mean by place value. In a multi-digit number, the number on each place value determines its value. Even though we only have 10 digits, each digit can stand for a different amount depending on a place. Digit 5 is in a 1's place, its value is 5. But if a 5 is in the 10's place, its value is 50. If a 5 is in a 100's place, its value is 500. And it's the same with some bigger places. 5 in the 100,000's means its value is 500,000. And if 5 in a billion's place, its value is 5 billions. Hello Math Wizards, thank you for attending our online class today. Tomorrow, I will discuss the continuation of our today's lesson. I hope you'll learn and enjoy our lesson for today. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.